Oh my gosh, it is so hot out here. It's like 106. Who would want to live in a place like this and wear a jacket like this? I don't even know. But you know what? This climate change thing, some people want to know, is it real? Is it fake? More importantly, is it affecting the real estate market? The following information might completely shock you. One, 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 one shot. Now the future for sure. Let's go. I'm turning dreams into reality. Yeah, it's one all one shot, not a future for sure. Let's go. Man, whether you believe in climate change or not, you have to understand that people's perception is what guides their reality. Will climate change fears affect the real estate market? Dude, there's some crazy new data that's come out by Redfin, a buddy of mine, Daryl. I'm gonna share with you some of this information and then I wanna help you understand how it's affecting the real estate market. It's crazy. Listen, man, regardless of how you personally feel about the politically charged subject of climate change, there are enough people who do take it seriously and it absolutely influences where they live. I don't know, maybe you've been living under a rock. I built my house all by myself. And you're like, climate change, real estate, what are you talking about? Let's get you caught up to speed. What is climate change? The result of various types of emissions fostered from large corporations in their operational practices. It affects the global environmental climate in many ways, including a substantial rise in sea levels, oppressive summer temperatures, widespread droughts, increasingly severe storms, and disastrous floods. And whether you believe that this is truth or hocus pocus, understand there's a lot of people out there that are guided by this information. In fact, check out this recent survey by Redfin. They found out that 50% of respondents who plan to move in the next year said that extreme temperatures and or increasingly frequency of natural disasters played a role in their decision to relocate. And I gotta tell you personally, like when I heard that, I'm like, there's no way that that can be a, dude, that's gotta be a fake system. 50%, are you kidding me? 50% of people are thinking about relocating based on what's happening in the climate in their area. Well, assuming it's true, you might want to know this. I was a little bit skeptical, but then I actually read who this economist quote is from. It's from Daryl Fairweather. I've met the dude, and his last name is actually Fairweather, which is kind of funny for a real estate company talking about climate change. It says, climate change is making certain parts of the country less desirable to live in, said Daryl Fairweather, Redfin's chief economist. As Americans leave places that are frequently on fire or at risk of going underwater, the destinations that don't face those risks will become increasingly competitive and expensive for home buyers. Isn't that crazy that literally the value of real estate might go up in areas that people perceive as safer. I mean, whether this climate control thing is because of corporations or not, the reality is these disasters are happening and they are changing perceptions. Now you might be asking yourself, Chris Crone, listen, I'm a subscriber on your channel. Why on earth are you talking about climate control and climate change? It's because I aggregate data about real estate and the data leads me to make important decisions. For example, you may not know that I track all 320 different markets in the United States because I'm always looking for the top three, four, or five best markets that I want to invest in. So you might be thinking, okay, Chris, what is the data saying? And when it comes to climate change, like what is the data saying about the worst states and the best states? Wouldn't you like to know? Tell me! from World Atlas, turns out that the safest states include Michigan, Minnesota, Illinois, Vermont, Ohio, Colorado, Maryland, Maine, New Hampshire, and Montana. I didn't know people lived in Montana. The other thing we have out here is animals, and a lot of them. States prone to disaster, however, include Texas, California, Oklahoma, California, New York, Florida, Louisiana, Alabama, Kentucky, Arkansas, Missouri, um, which is kind of strange because Florida, is like one of the favorite destinations on the planet for retirees. They're like, yeah, it's sinking, but I'm probably gonna die before it's underwater. On the other hand, you gotta understand that there's other factors in determining where you should move, or in other words, where are the best real estate markets? I'm interested in this because I help people take a small amount of money, like $50,000, and over 20 years, 
literally turn it into millions of dollars in the game of real estate. I and mean, it's actually quite simple to do. You need to find properties that will produce an annual ROI of 25%. And that is not easy for most people to do, but I've got a system for how I do it. In fact, you know, there's a link below. I, I've got this document I'll send you for free. It actually shows you my entire system that you can copycat for finding properties that produce 25% ROIs. Because uh, let's admit it, turning $50,000 into $4.3 million would be kind of a cool retirement. Well, for that reason, I'm interested in evaluating the markets, but all the filters, not just climate change. I also look at things like, what's the median home price doing? Is it going up faster than the rest of the nation? I look at population growth. Did you understand that the value of real estate is tied very closely to population? For example, when there's a recession and uh, the, the economic bubble bursts or the real estate market flops, people don't stop having sex. They keep making babies. And as long as we've got you know, immigration and people moving here, we're gonna need more houses. And so we're in this actual catch-up period where we're missing four million homes according to Wall Street Journal. And it's gonna take us likely closer to a decade before we catch up. There can't be any real estate bubble burst until then. So yeah, should you be paying attention to population? Yeah, 100%, where population, where the people move is where you're gonna see the prices grow the most. I look at migration, affordability factors. Like, I don't wanna buy no California like for $2.1 million, like 700 square foot piece of garbage. I want to find something affordable, like, hey, can I still buy something for under $300,000 in this insane real estate market? Uh, employment growth. Are companies moving there? Are things growing? Wage growth. Like, you know, is there an opportunity for me to elevate my standard of living based on where I live? Supply and demand. In other words, I got to look for places where homes are actually available. And then finally, where are businesses growing? All of that information seems like an economist's task to ferret through and figure out what makes the most sense. Except I've got a team of people that have already done that for you, which is why I'm giving you this document for free. If you really want to understand how to build wealth in the game of real estate, don't buy real estate in your backyard. You want to access a turnkey system, a simple model where experts are running the show, they know what they're doing, they find the very best deals because they go through thousands of them every single month. And that's a system that I've generated over the course of the last 18 years. In fact, I got a track record on over a billion dollars worth of real estate transacted over 5,000 single family homes. It's to the point where I am bored out of my mind. And fortunately, I got a team of 200 experts that run the show for me. But this is how I build wealth. And this is how I acquire real estate. And yes, I even have some of my subscribers here that will, no matter where you live in the world, that will actually reach out. They'll click links below. They'll read stuff like this. They'll get in contact and they'll say, yo, I got $50,000, how do I turn that into $4.3 million? So if you wanna learn more how that works or how you can do it yourself, you're gonna want this document. Click the link below, I'll ship it to you for free. And listen, if you are worried about climate change affecting the real estate market, then you're gonna to wanna to know the best and most intelligent and safest places where you should be buying real estate and also maybe have a team that does it for you. By the way, there are three markets in particular that I just opened up that I believe in. I'm gonna be hanging out there for the next decade. And if you wanna come and play and get kind of the inside scoop on how to make a lot of money in real estate, check out this video. I'll show you my three brand new markets. Entry level, single family homes, newest in the nicest neighborhoods that will prefer. Just ran out of gas. There's no more oxygen. There's a, 